Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We're talking about temperature measurement. This time we're talking about a pyroelectric effect or PIR sensor. Yeah? Pyroelectric infrared sensor. What is this? Well, here I have something. Yeah? I have something you probably have already seen yeah? at the toilet or whatever. Yeah? A movement sensor. It's a movement sensor and it usually looks like that with those little fancy looking thing. Huh? Let's uncover the truth. How fancy it is looking underneath. Book. Aha. Uh -huh. Round thing with a black window. Not that fancy, right? This is the actual this is the actual sensor. Huh? This is the actual PER sensor, pure electric infrared sensor. This little, it's a semiconductor device. Yeah? This little device is uh, influenced by by infrared radiation. Yeah, so this thing is called a PER sensor. PER, yeah, pure electric. Infrared. So it's influenced by infrared radiation. Yeah? It's a semiconductor material. Influenced by infrared radiation. And since infrared radiation is heat, we feel it as heat. Yeah? We can measure the temperature with this PER sensor. However, there's one, one. It has a memory effect. Yeah. So it is not really reacting on infrared radiation. Yeah. It's only reacting on the change of infrared radiation, and then after a while, it will, it will normalize. Yeah. So. By infrared radiation, yeah. When radiation level is changing, the material will give a voltage. It's somehow a little bit like, you know, photovoltaic, huh? but it's a different material. If the infrared level is changing, there is a measurable voltage there. Yeah? And if it stays changed, yeah, then it, this voltage will disappear. Yeah? See, it is only reacting on changing. Yeah? Only when changing the temperature. will disappear if no change. Okay. So temperature is changing, this is reacting, giving some sort giving voltage, yeah, and if the temperature then is stopped changing, stays the same, this voltage will disappear over time and then this is normal and normal. Yeah. And when it changes again, it will it will react again with voltage. Yeah? This is why this thing is used as a movement detector. Yeah? I do not want to have my lights on the toilet turned off and on just because of a moving curtain. No. Yeah? I want it to be turned off and on because of a living thing. And this living thing is radiating heat. This is why those movement sensors are not triggered by moving objects. They are only triggered by moving warm things, yeah, because then the heat is changing, yeah, and well, it's working. And why we have this fancy cap? Yeah? Why we have this 
stylish looking dome. Yeah? It's just lenses. It's acting as lenses for infrared radiation so that the, the detection area of this movement sensor is a little bit is bigger. Not a little bit, is significantly bigger. Okay? And with this change, we can measure this change and could switch something. Yeah? This is how pure electric sensors are working. Yeah? Only reacting on the change of, of temperature. Next time we're talking about a really, again, something where we can measure temperature. Yeah? And we don't even have to be on site or there where I want to measure the temperature. I can stand apart from this yeah? and I can measure temperature distribution in an area. How oh, this is working. Huh? I will show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.